what about basketball? Uh, usually in Bahamas, you just run, you know? You yeah, it's a, it's a major track and field country. But if you do research, we have a lot of college, big time college players and players in the NBA. You know, Buddy Heels, the latest, DeAndre Aiden, the number one pick, you know? And it's just about kids getting off the island, because not to talk about the US, but they don't give everyone student visas to go off to school. So we have a lot of talent that they finish high school and go to college over there, but they just do, do nothing, you know, athletically with their life and they have so much potential. So we have a lot of athletes per capita, you know? So the level of basketball in the Bahamas is good, but now the doors are opening more for guys and I've been doing that this summer, training them and helping them. Me and my cousin, we have a thing called Raw Talent. And like we got some kids in France now, you know? So, because with our passport, you know, we could play uh, in France as a continent. So that's something we'll be, we're working on. I have some special tattoos. Uh, do you want to talk about this? Uh, the Sparta 300 tattoo. You know, I got it on my chest and uh, I got it on my side, you know. The tattoo I had from five years ago. Yeah, I got it my first year in Japan and uh, I had it since then. And now I'm in Greece, you know, five years, five years later. So it's crazy how life works, you know. How did you learn all this about the Spartans and Leonidas? Uh, it's crazy, you know, I was in college and uh, we was riding on a bus and I was always interested in the Spartans, you know, the, you know, the history and the way like they fight until the end, specifically the 300, you know, that stood strong against, you know, the Persian army and uh, we was on the bus and we was watching the movie 300 for the first time. It's my, uh, one of my best friends was like, oh, I brought this movie for you. I was like, what, 300? I was like, yeah, come on, let's watch this. We watch it on the bus and like, something just clicked in my head. I'm like, wow, it's amazing. My favorite movie ever. And uh, yeah, years later down the road, I met a good tattoo artist and I got a lot of work done. And, uh, but yeah, basically, you know, I'm in love with the whole, you know, it's just a motto of life, you know, everything on the court, off the court, you know, just fight until the end, you know, never retreat, never give up. You know, just the mentality I have and I just put it on my body, you know. How, how painful was it? When I started this, you know, I kind of told myself, man, I'm crazy. I was like, why? Why did I do this? But once he started, this was after the chest. I got the chest first, it wasn't so bad. When I got this one, the pain was, it was crazy, it was ignorant. But once I looked at it, he was almost, he was like already one hour in. The outline, like the outer part, so I was like, all right, I gotta be strong and finish. But it was crazy pain. Don't ever do no tattoos on your ribs, man. It's, it's crazy. It's like all of this, you know, so. What fascinates you the most about the Greek people now that you live in Greece? You know, I usually do research on places when I come. And uh, when I signed with Pauk, you know, I, I knew about Pauk. I was just like, all right, it's a deal I'm not gonna, you know, like, like deny. So, you know, I didn't know much about Greece. I heard about it, you know, years ago. I heard like it was a little bit of, you know, financial problems with the country, so it wasn't really, you know, on my mind. But when I heard about Powell, you know, I said, all right, I'm gonna come here. And what blows my mind the most, I guess, is how nice the people are. I mean, in certain countries, you know, not talking bad, but it wasn't as welcoming as Greek people in Greece. And uh, everyone, like, speaks English, you know, and they're proud of it. Some countries, it's like, nah, you speak my language, or, or it's like, forget you, you know? So, yeah, France, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everything is just, like, you know, it's gorgeous. I heard about it and see it in person, rather than pictures. It reminds me of the Bahamas, like where I'm from. You know. Would you give a good name to your child? I would. <laughs> I would. Zeus. <laughs> Probably Zeus. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. A Greek name. Yeah, yeah. Zeus. The God Zeus. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you a last question about the Clay Thompson. Uh, I think that you're really close friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His dad. Michael Thompson. So he was the number one overall pick in like maybe 1976, I think. And uh, first basketball player from the Bahamas. So, you know, as, as uh, years go by, you know, his wife, you know, they had their kids come to the Bahamas every summer. Clay Dam would always come in the summer and the college. So when he come in college, you know, uh, for summer break, it's like we all play basketball in the summer. The guys who there were off in college are playing pro. We play pickups. And, you know, he's at Washington, so he went to the NBA. Like I already was there for years. Every time we come back, we hang out, and uh, he won the championship. So that's how he came back. It's like I won the championship. It's like all of our guys we hang out who, he, who's, who he's cool with, because the circle is small. Like we all just you know have fun and have a good time in the Bahamas. So 
He's a real good friend. <laughs>